Play. At the end of the Horus Heresy, when Lion L. Johnson, Primarch of the Dark Angel Space Marines, returned to his homeworld of Caliban, his fleet was met by a devastating barrage of defense laser fire. Stunned by the ferocious attack, Johnson withdrew his vessels from orbit and attempted to find out what had happened on his homeworld. A nearby merchant ship soon provided the answer. Luther, second in command of the Legion and the Lion's greatest friend, had apparently ordered the approaching fleet fired upon. His reasoning for this action unknown to the Primarch, it was suspected that Luther, like many of the Lion's brothers, had become influenced by chaos. The fury of the Lion and his Dark Angels at what they perceived as a terrible betrayal knew no bounds. Johnson himself immediately ordered a sustained bombardment of the traitor positions and led an attack against Luther's position personally. In the resultant battle, the two adversaries struck blow upon blow against each other, tearing down the monastery around them until nearly the whole mass of edifice had been leveled by their battle. Meanwhile, the massed guns of the Dark Angel fleet pounded the planet until the very surface of Caliban began to crack under the strain of the bombardment. As the planet itself started to break apart, the battle between the Lion and Luther reached its climax. Luther, apparently aided by the powers of chaos, unleashed a furious psychic attack that knocked Johnson to his knees and left him mortally wounded. But as the dying Primarch struggled to stand, his noble features racked with pain. It was as if a curtain was lifted from Luther's eyes, and he realized the full extent of what he had done. Devastated, the realization shattered his sanity, and he slumped down beside Johnson, no longer willing to fight. Soon after Luther's breakdown, a warp storm of unprecedented fury engulfed Caliban. In an uncontrollable flood of psychic energy, the warp rushed into the physical universe. The immense strain these forces placed upon the planet, in combination with the tectonic shifting and cracking caused by the orbital bombardment, caused the horrific end of the entire planet. Caliban itself shattered, breaking into countless pieces of dead and dying rock. The fallen Dark Angels, who had served under Luther, were sucked from the face of Caliban into the warp and effectively scattered throughout space and time. None knew of these events other than the Dark Angels, their successor chapters, and the Emperor on his golden throne. Even within the chapters themselves, very few brother marines know the full story. It is only when Dark Angels gain entry into the Death Wing that they learn that many of the Dark Angels who followed Luther are still alive. There are several different types of fallen. Not all of them have succumbed to the power of chaos. A large number of the fallen have become true chaos space marines, but many others realize that their actions during the fall of Caliban were questionable. Others claiming that the lion himself was chaos tainted and that Luther was the true loyalist have remained unrepentant and possessed of the same ideals they fought for during Caliban's fall. Disgusted by the perverse chaos gods, and unable to reconcile themselves with the Imperium, such members of the Fallen often lead a life of solitary existence. Many become mercenaries or pirates, while others attempt to integrate themselves back into normal human societies. All of that is irrelevant to the Dark Angels, who believe that the only way they can restore their honor and trust within the Emperor's eyes is if all the Fallen are found and either made to repent or are slain. Consequently, the Dark Angels and the rest of the Unforgiven constantly hunt for the Fallen and regularly prioritize it, above all other concerns. Those Fallen that are captured are taken back to the Rock, where interrogator chaplains attempt to make them repent. Occasionally they do, and so die quickly. More often than not, the captured Fallen refuses and suffers a long, agonizing death at the hands of those who would save his soul. Cypher was one of these fallen angels, but no one actually knows his true name. 
He appears randomly throughout the galaxy, but is rumored to be slowly moving towards Terra. He is famous for his pistol abilities, being able to fire precisely with every shot, even when using two weapons, no matter the chaos and the battle around him. His characteristic combination of bolt pistol and plasma pistol are known throughout the galaxy, as rumors fill every segmentum of the presence of a white-robed man in power armor. The final distinguishing feature of Cypher is his sword. It is a mysterious weapon that he has never been seen to draw on the battlefield, though rumors surround it. It is an artifact of the Dark Angels. It is the Lion Sword. It is broken. Cypher seeks to reforge it and present it to the Emperor of Mankind, obtaining absolution and forgiveness.